Welcome back. So I did some yoga on the earlier session and I'm having trouble with my shoulder. So I'm thinking to not do any more. What I thought we could do instead is to do a tension and release exercise. It's also known as um, exercise without movement. And to do this, it's a way of moving the body and we tense parts of the body and then really completely relax them. So it's a way of getting into the body in a way that we might not be able to if we're just completely silent, just completely still. So to do this, you would lie down on your back if you like. And if you would prefer to do some movement, um, you could do that now instead. You could do it later. Um, totally up to you. The recording from the earlier session will be up in a few hours as well. So really get yourself settled as you're starting. We always start our practice with this awareness of what does it feel like right now? Depending on the time of day, we have different experience in our body. And of course, depending on what's going on inside, we have different experiences. So notice that, notice what's happening right now in your system. There might be thoughts in your mind. And the thought stream has certain qualities to it. Sometimes it's relatively calmer than other times. It could also be sluggish in our mind. We might not be fully awake. And notice your body. There's our physical body and our breath and energy. Allow yourself to come into a very focused mindfulness state of perceiving. Just to really notice what it is that your body feels like right now. And instead of doing movement yoga, we're doing exercise without movement. Which is a form of a tension release. So we work through the body. We need to also remember that the first principle of yoga is ahimsa, which means without harm. And we can't really do that with our body and with our breath, our mind, unless we're aware of what it is that's happening. So mindfulness is a real foundation of that. And during the tension and release practice, we want to tense up enough that we get that feeling if we're tensing up our forehead, if we're tensing our jaw, we don't want to get any kind of tightness through there that would hurt our teeth or anything. So as you're tensing, keep a little bit of space between your upper jaw and lower jaw when you're in that area, but also in any part of the body Tense up enough that you can feel the tightness, the difference, and then let it go. So we're not wanting to do this in a mindless kind of a way. We really want to be paying attention and working with it in a way that we're starting to feel the squeeze and release. That's part of why we do this, but that we're not actually squeezing hard enough to cause any pain or, or, or any kind of harm. So keeping that in mind as we do this practice. This practice is great to do lying down. 
And you can also do it sitting up. So tune into your body just as it is right in this moment before we get into the contrasts of the squeeze and the release. So notice your body, notice your energy. And as we move through the body, see if you can keep your whole body relaxed, except for that one part that we're working with. So if you were to relax your, your, if you were to tense your right hand, for instance, see if you can maintain the softness through your arm muscles, through the shoulder, through your other hand, and then relax. So notice how we have a lot of peripheral involvement if we tighten up our jaw, we'll probably notice there's some tightness along the sides of the neck, maybe down into the collarbones. So as you're doing one discrete body part, then try to keep the tension only in that part. And of course that's not perfect because things are connected. But that's our intention is to really work with one part of the body at a time. So from this awareness of your whole body from head to toes, let your body relax. Let yourself settle into the support of the floor, the chair. And then bring your attention to the top of your head and the forehead and the eyebrows. And bring some contraction into the forehead and the eyebrows. And then release. Generally, we're bringing tension on the inhale and relaxing on the exhale. That works with our natural system of relaxation as we breathe out. Do each part several times. Inhale, tightening up through the forehead and the eyebrows. Exhale and relax. Take a few regular breaths and let yourself soften as you breathe out. And then one more time, tighten up your forehead and eyebrows. And then lift your eyebrows up and let your forehead relax. And notice the feeling of energy or aliveness that happens as we let go of that tightness. And then bring your attention into your mouth. Put a bit of space between your upper jaw and lower jaw. When we tense, we don't want to be clenching our teeth. And then tighten the corners of the mouth, the jaw, the hinges of the jaw. Relax as you breathe out. As you're breathing in, tighten. See if you can keep your forehead somewhat relaxed. Breathing out. And again, as you breathe in next time, tighten your mouth, your jaw. And breathe out and let that go. We're not in a hurry to move from one part to the other really good to notice what's happening now in your forehead and eyebrows and what's going on in your mouth and jaw. And then bring your attention down into the sides of your neck, the back of your neck, your shoulders. As you inhale, tighten that part up. See if you could keep your belly relaxed enough to breathe and then soften on the exhale.
tense your neck and shoulders. Relax, let that settle on the exhale. See if you can keep your face completely soft while you're tensing up your neck and shoulders. Inhale and tense. Exhale and soften. Several breaths between each and really tune into what's happening in that area of your body now. Can you feel a different quality of the energy in that part of your body? Sometimes it feels more tingly or some kind of response to the increased blood flow. And now bring your attention into your right arm, the right side of your neck, the shoulder on the right side, down through your arm to your hand. Without creating any pain in your hand, tense up your fist. And see if you can keep the rest of your arm relatively relaxed. And then exhale, relax your hand. Inhale and squeeze. Exhale and soften. And one more time, squeezing, tightening up just the right wrist, or the right fist. And then relax. Feel your whole arm. And then the next time you do this, tighten up your fist a bit, but also tighten up your arm. The lower arm, the upper arm. Keep your left arm completely relaxed. Exhale and soften each time. Inhale and tighten. the whole of your right arm, that right hand, and then relax. One more time. Inhale and tense up. Exhale and soften. And notice again the forehead and the eyes, the jaw, the neck and shoulders. And notice in particular the difference between the right shoulder and the right arm, the right hand, and the left. And now let the right arm and shoulder be completely relaxed. We turn our attention to the left side. So without squeezing so hard that you hurt yourself, squeeze on the inhale into a fist on the left side. Shoulders are completely relaxed as you're doing this. Exhale and soften. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, soften. See if you can isolate the tension and release just to the left fist. Inhale and tighten. Exhale and relax. And now do it with the whole arm, the hand, the left arm, the left part of the shoulder. Inhale, squeeze and tighten. See if you can keep the right arm and shoulder and hand completely relaxed, not engaged at all. Inhale and tighten. Release. Inhale and squeeze. Forehead, jaw completely soft, not involved at all. And relax your whole arm, your hand. And notice both arms and hands now.
Come back again to the forehead, the jaw. Down through the neck and the shoulders into the arms and hands, fingers and fingertips. And now we're going to work with both hands and arms. So keep your attention on the back of the neck, the shoulders, your arms and hands. And as you breathe in, squeeze into a fairly light, but significant enough fist, both hands. And relax your shoulders as you're doing that. Exhale, release. Inhale and squeeze. Let your shoulders be soft and relaxed. Exhale, relax. Inhale and squeeze. And then release as you breathe out. Notice the whole of your body and the energy, the sensations. Notice what thoughts might be going on. You might like this, you might not. You might be observing some things. This is a mindfulness practice as well as a physical body practice. So it's good to notice your whole range of experience during the practice. And now inhale, squeeze the fists up through the arms to the shoulders, both arms, both hands, and relax. Squeeze and release. Inhale and squeeze. Let your shoulders come up and then on the exhale, let a wave of relaxation flow down through your neck and shoulders, through your arms, hands, fingers, fingertips. And notice now the energy in your body again, through the head, the face, neck and shoulders, down through the arms and hands. And now keeping the arms and hands soft and relaxed, we're gonna work with tightening up through the shoulders, the back of the neck. And if we already have some chronic tightness here in particular, we don't wanna be making it worse. So don't go too far into the tension part. Just enough to really notice. As you're inhaling, bring your shoulders up, tighten the muscles in the back of your body, the upper back. If you can keep your arms relatively relaxed and then exhale and release. Do that two more times as well. Bring the shoulders up, tighten up through the muscles of the back, relax your shoulders. Relax your arms. Let your whole system settle as you breathe out. Inhale, squeezing through the shoulders back of the body, relax your hands, wiggle your fingers, and then release as you breathe out. Let the whole area soften, your shoulders can move away from your ears. If you're on the floor, you could rotate your shoulders open so that they could really settle, your body could really settle into the floor. And notice now what that feels like. What does it feel like through your neck and your back? And then bring your attention to your front, to your torso, and in particular to your chest right now. And as you breathe in, tighten the muscles of the chest. Again, working with keeping the rest of your body soft and relaxed. Breathe out and let the whole thing settle. 
Breathe in, tighten the muscles in the chest. Exhale, release. Breathe in and squeeze. And then let go on the exhale. You can move your head around if you like. Notice if there's any tension that's come up into your neck or shoulders. And then bring your attention to your belly, your stomach area. And breathe in and then hold your breath and squeeze just the stomach area. Relax as you breathe out. And do this in a way that honors what's going on in your body. If you have high blood pressure or glaucoma or something, you're not going to want to hold your breath and squeeze. And even if you don't, make this not the tightest squeeze you could imagine. Just inhale, hold your breath for a moment, squeeze. Notice the muscles of the stomach and then let them relax. And notice if anything else is getting involved. Sometimes we'll do it with our shoulders or our forehead. One more time, inhale, hold and squeeze. And relax. A few deep breaths again. Notice your shoulders. Let your system relax and soften. And then bring your attention into your right leg, into your right foot. With the leg, we're gonna start with the thigh. So see if you can inhale and squeeze the muscles of the thigh, the front of the leg, back of the thigh as well. Exhaling, release. And the idea here is just the thigh. Inhale and squeeze, relax the lower leg, relax the stomach. One more time, inhale and squeeze. And relax. Notice the difference in energy between the right thigh and the left. And then bring your attention back into your right leg and contract, tense the whole of your right leg from your toes up through your calves through the thigh, relax through your right arm, through your stomach, and several breaths, squeeze on the inhale, exhale, and relax. And when you're finished, tune into your whole leg on the right side, your foot, and the whole leg and foot on your left side and notice the difference. And completely relax your left leg and your foot. You could wiggle your toes around, move your ankle around a bit. And bring your attention now to your left leg. We're gonna start with the thigh. So as you're breathing in, tense just the thigh muscles, these large muscles that we rely on for locomotion. Exhale and relax each time. Inhale, tense just the thigh. Notice the feeling of the muscles in the front of the leg, the back of the leg. One more time. Squeeze on the inhale, release on the exhale.
And then bringing the whole of your left leg into the squeeze. Inhale and squeeze through the thigh, the foot, the shins, the calves. Exhale. Inhale and squeeze. Not so hard so that you would give yourself a muscle spasm or anything. We're just really bringing our attention in and squeezing like we do helps to clear out some of the old blood, the lymphatic fluids that might be kind of trapped. Squeeze and release again. Opens up the circulatory system and then relax your whole leg. And notice your right leg and foot, your left leg and foot, your right arm, your left arm. The back of your body, your shoulders, the upper back. The front of your body, your face. Chest and stomach area. And down through your legs, all the way to your toes. And next we're going to squeeze and release both legs from the top of the legs down to the feet. Inhale and tense, exhale and release. And see if you can allow your arms and your stomach to be totally relaxed. You're not engaging them in this at all. Do it a few more times with your breath. Squeeze on the inhale, release on the exhale. And now we're going to do both arms and both legs together. So on the inhale, squeeze light fist, squeeze your arms, shoulders, legs, feet. Exhale and relax. Inhale and squeeze. Exhale, relax. Notice if you can keep your neck Relax your jaw, your mouth. Squeeze again. And release. And then bring your attention into the whole right side of your body, the right side of your face, the right shoulder, the neck, down through the rib cage, the stomach, the right hip, the right leg, foot, the right arm, hand. So on the next inhalation, squeeze the whole right side of your body. As you exhale, let the whole body relax. And as you inhale, try to keep your left side really soft. And when you finish doing three times, at least with your breath, then let your body soften again. And notice the difference as you scan your body. What does it feel like on the right side of your body? And what does it feel like on the left? And then tune into your left side. We'll do the same with the left. So as you're breathing in, the right side is completely relaxed. Now we're going to tense the left side on the inhale. Exhale and soften. Inhale, tense the whole left side of the body. Arms, legs, face, neck, shoulders, and let it relax. Again, inhale and tense. And soften and relax.
And on the next inhalation, keeping in mind ahimsa, non-harming, we're not doing this so tightly that we hurt. Let your whole body tense up on the inhale and relax on the exhale. Let yourself have a nice long exhale and then tense again on the inhale. Release as you breathe out. And squeeze on the inhale. Head to toes and then soften and relax. And then move your body around a little bit. You can move your head, your shoulders. If you're lying on your back, it feels great to bring your arms above your chest and rock them back and forth a bit. It gives us a bit of a movement, a massage into our upper back. You can extend the arms up a little, bring them lower towards your belly and change the part of your back where you're massaging. You could bring your knees into your chest and rock back and forth again loosening up through the lower back. And if you're sitting, you could do some kind of movement that feels good. It loosens up the body, relaxes. You could also stand up, shake things out a bit. Give yourselves a minute or so to do that. And then this time when you come back to resting, we're going to let the whole body relax. <clears throat> We're finished with the exercises of the exercise without movement, the tension and release. And now we're just going to notice our body, notice the difference in particular between when we started and now. It was about a half an hour of working with our body in that way of tensing on the inhale and relaxing the different parts. So energetically, our body's going to feel quite different than it did at the start. Notice that. Notice what would feel good right now for your body. You could roll over onto your side. You could stand up and move around. You could lie there and just notice the energy in your body or sit and do the same. And scan your body and see what's going on. If there's anything that's a bit tight that you could let soften again. And notice your forehead and eyebrows. You could move your eyebrows up and then let them settle. Notice the softness and notice the energy. If there's any sense perception The same with your eyes, corners of your eyes, the deep muscles of your eyes. What does that feel like right now?
and notice your mouth, your jaw. Often when we're finished a practice of exercise without movement, we feel a lot more energy in our body than we normally do. And partly that's physiology. When we squeeze like that, some of the blood that might have been trapped in there gets kind of squeezed out and we relax and it gets some movement again. The lymphatic fluid as well. Squeeze and release is like a massage for all the different parts of our body. Notice your jaw, your mouth, your tongue, your vocal cords. Notice if it feels about the same as it usually does or if there's any kind of a shift. We can always bring a bit of movement into the area. You could move your lower jaw. You could shrug your shoulders, bring them up and then let them fall back. We're really just exploring right now. What does it feel like in our body? Notice your neck and your shoulders down through your upper back. Let your arms rest. And notice what you notice when you bring your attention into the different parts of the body. The hands might feel a little bit different than they normally do. There might be some residual energy there or maybe some fatigue or who knows, it could be anything. We're just looking to see what's happening in your shoulders, your arms, your hands. Bring your attention back to your face. Notice what's happening in your face again. What's going on there in that part of the body? Could you bring a little bit more softness to the forehead or the eyebrows? Or maybe you're noticing energy in your mouth or jaw, your throat. And notice your chest and your stomach. Both the muscles on the outside as well as the energy on the inside. What's going on there right at the moment? And notice your legs and your feet. So that now again, you're aware of your whole body from head to toes.
And we're going to work for a little bit with the thank you phrases, the welcome phrases. So you might do that in kind of a formal way with a particular sensation or energy that you're noticing in the body. You could also do it in a more relaxed, just kind of an opening, uh, a welcoming of your experience in your body. For most of us, when we're doing awareness in the body, we're not gonna be 100% pain-free. We're not gonna be 100% relaxed for sure. So there could be just an opening into, could I accept my experience just as it is? With all the stuff that's going on in my body, with distraction that might be happening in the mind or pain, whatever it is. Could I just notice that and allow it to be as it is without wanting something to be different? And notice what comes up as you entertain that question. So it's natural to want to avoid anything that's painful and to distract ourselves from it. So to not give ourselves a hard time about that, if there's anything like that going on. Or as we're tuning in, we might be noticing a particular energy or sensation. And we could give that some dedicated attention. We start by noticing. Maybe it's that your neck and shoulders and upper back never really did relax. There's some kind of holding tension there. Some other part of the body. So bring your attention into that. Notice the location. And notice what that sensation or energy feels like. Notice that there's space all around it. Notice the qualities of the sensation. Is it painful? Is it still? Is it throbbing? Do you have an image that you could look at? And however it is that it's showing up, if we're using the thank you phrases, we just repeat themselves, repeat the phrases in our mind. So really tuning into that specific energy that you want to welcome. Thank you for arising. I love you. You're welcome to stay. Thoughts might come up in response to that, and then we have a chance to look at that. Let's give this several minutes of just practicing this, this welcoming, whether we're doing it kind of formally with a certain energy or the whole of our body, the whole of our experience. Noticing what it feels like to allow it to be here just as it is. Stay in touch with your breath and your whole body head to toes.
Stay connected with your body, your breath. If you've got thoughts coming up, maintain that witness to the observer. We're not trying to get rid of them, we're noticing them in a very intentional way. If there's some kind of thought coming in that's causing suffering or that's negative or judgmental, See if you could just maintain that witness around that. We don't actually have to follow or believe all the thoughts that come through. So we're interested. And we're not powerless either. We can look and be attentive and welcome what it is that comes up in that spirit of curiosity without getting dragged into it. So we'll work with this for several minutes. And let yourself go into silence at times and then come back to this if you like. Acknowledging and being present with ourselves just as we are.
So bring yourself back into the group. Tune in to what's happening in your system again. We're several hours in now. More than halfway through. So it's good to check in, see what's happening in our system. See if we're enjoying it, what's going on. Like most things, it's not, it's not static. It changes our experience over, especially over 24 hours. That's a long period of time to be intentional in this way and perhaps not on social media or Facebook or doing the kinds of things we normally do. Intensity can kind of build a little bit. Just notice what your experience is and how it is that you're working with yourself right now during this time. We were just working with the thank you phrases, the acceptance and the willingness to have our experience be whatever it is. And part of the reason that we do that is so that we can be kind to ourselves, that we can notice ourselves, get to know ourselves in that way. And that we can shift what we're doing. That we can be moving through the rest of the silence retreat in a way that would really work well for us. It might be what we planned, it might not be. But all of that is okay. I notice for myself, I've moved through periods of deeper silence. By the time we finished last night, I could hardly sleep. And it wasn't because I was disturbed. It was just that I was very alive and present and energy wasn't wanting to kind of go into sleep for a while. And I've also had times of thoughts in my mind or noticing different things. So I'm sure that's the experience that we're all having. It shifts and changes. So it's good to welcome it as it is. We're gonna finish this particular session now. And when we come back, it will be at our regular practice time. There may be other people that join us for that. Thank all of you for being here. I'm really enjoying this opportunity to do this practice together and see how it evolves for the rest of the day. Okay, we'll see you soon.